Welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair if you're new here. Today we're going to do kind of a two-part thing. Um, it's Saturday. I just got off work. It's about 3.30. Um, we're going to make royal icing for decorating cookies. Um, sugar cookies that is. And I'm going to decorate a good chunk of them today by myself and then I'm taking down enough for me and my friend to decorate two together like two trays um that way if they don't dry before i come home because you can't really bag them up or stack them until they're dry with these um she can just hold on to them and bring them herself up for our friends miss i mean that's what i might call it it's friends christmas but we're gonna call it friends miss <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get the icing made though so i have all the colors that i need we're gonna decorate what we can tonight and then the icing should i must this is an experiment. I don't normally do this. Usually I make the icing, decorate all the cookies in one day. But because our plan was to decorate together, I'm hoping they will be fine overnight. Um, I put my icing in bottles and they have a little cap on them. I might take this off when I'm done for the day and put some saran wrap down and rinse the lids out so they don't get stuck in there just to make sure they don't harden. Yeah, end up bad. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this goes. Worst case, I'll make more icing in the morning if it looks like it's not gonna work. For this recipe, um, it is a, well, it was a William Sonoma recipe. I would link it. I might be able to, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I pulled this a long time ago and I've used it year after year and it's been my tried and true. However, I noticed when I tried to go back to the webpage from my Pinterest, they have altered the recipe and it's different than what I have saved. So I will try and link what I use, but basically it's powdered sugar, meringue powder, vanilla, warm water, and then your food coloring of choice. I'm making six colors. I'm going to probably get the icing made, see where I'm at, because this can be very time consuming and wrist breaking. <laughs> Um, so I may have to take a break before I sit down to decorate and I still want to order dinner at some point tonight. So I'm going to show you how to whip up one batch and then I'll probably just show you the colors as we go because it's going to take a while. But let me grab a whisk and then we can start mixing up a batch. Okay, so I got one set up. I'm doing a half batch in this bowl. I usually get the powdered sugar part set up. And then we're going to add the meringue and everything, get it mixed and then bottled. And then I'll rinse all the bowls and do another two at a time because it's just easier when you got to do all the sifting, which I did forget to mention. Sifting is kind of key because you do not want clumpy powdered sugar. Otherwise, your icing will not be smooth. Meringue powder, I get mine from Wilton. I'm pretty sure I had to order it from their website direct the last year I needed this. So for vanilla, you need half. I'm gonna do probably one and then two in the big one. I mean, it's not gonna hurt. It's just gonna make it more vanilla-y in taste if you add more. Like that, for instance. <laughs> Might add a smidge more. Okay, when you do this, you're gonna add four to six tablespoons. Now there's not exactly a science, or not an exact measurement because you gotta keep an eye on the consistency. Um, I'll show you a little closer up, but you basically want it to lay ribbons on itself. That's how you know. So I usually start with four, especially in the big one, mix and then I'll count. And you only wanna set one of these up at a time. And make sure it's not like boiling hot water because the meringue powder is actually like egg whites. So you don't want, you know, too hot of water when you're mixing this. And you could use a KitchenAid mixer. I've just found it's easier to do it by hand. I know it hurts my hand when you do so many, but in the KitchenAid mixer, you can't gauge the thickness or if you need to add water as easily as you can when you're doing it by hand. All right, let me show you on this one. Like when you do this, you see how it's like kind of sitting on top of itself and then blends in? That's how you know it's thick enough. 
and it's gonna have bubbles because you just mixed it, but that's why you put it in the bottle and let it sit for a while. Now this is a tricky part because I have tried to use like a funnel and it is not ideal. So I would recommend just eyeballing it. You're probably gonna hit the counter and you might have to make more, but you just gotta do the best that you can. I forgot to mention that when you get to this where you got your consistency right, um, this is where you would add your food coloring if you're doing colors. The first one was just supposed to be white anyway. set up I'm doing this in the living room so I can watch Christmas movies but basically I lay the cookies out on a cooling rack with tin foil underneath so if it drips it's not making a mess everywhere have all my icings I have toothpicks for helping spread it and then a paper towel to clean off tips if I need to but I'm gonna try and get this pan done and then I'll probably order dinner here shortly but I'm not gonna show a ton of this tonight because we are gonna do more tomorrow the ones that I got done for tonight I will say I did not care for the bigger bottle tips for these um, they definitely needed a thinner one and I probably should have used it but I am kind of liking the ones I did sprinkles on to make them more brighter like a light bulb so that's what I've done for tonight I'm saw earlier I bagged up the cookies that I did um getting ready to head out to my friend's house I got to go load the car with all the stuff for cookie decorating and if you are not familiar with curly hair it's obviously raining today <laughs> um so we're gonna head down there I got about an hour drive me and the dog are going we're gonna have some fun today I'll show you what we get into between cookie decorating movies and lights so it should be a very good Sunday Christmas time The season of peace is finally here When family and friends and neighbors come to call bringing love and Christmas cheer 
It's Christmas time It's Christmas time The lights on the trees shine so bright Hear carolers singing from house to house Silent night, oh holy night See mistletoe hanging in the doorway All right, we're heading out to go see the McAddenville Christmas lights, something she's been trying to get me to do for years, and we're finally going to do it. Inviting a secret stolen kiss it's a wonderful, heartfelt time for everyone on earth to reflect and reminisce. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. See children skating merrily in the square. Smiling boys and girls with faces all aglow Waiting for Saint Nick to appear To find their stockings loaded with gifts from their list All the children of the world Soon they'll believe that wishes do come true For every good boy and every good girl It's Christmas time It's Christmas time The happiest time of the year. It's the next morning. Um, I didn't end this off last night because I didn't get home till late and it was hectic. It definitely started storming and got really heavy rains and winds and I had an hour drive home in the dark with that. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun though. I enjoyed spending time with my friend, cookie decorating, shopping, um, the lights. That was all really fun. So I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope everybody has a blessed day. The joy.